sea changers were gathering strength fast. They began a periodic fleecing of the flock, as they called it, by creating economic booms followed by further depressions so they could buy up thousands of homes and farms for pennies on the dollar. In 1891, the money changers prepared to take the American economy down again, and their methods and motives were laid out with shocking clarity in a memo sent out by the American Bankers Association, the ABA, an organization in which most bankers were members. Notice that this memo called for bankers to create a depression on a certain date three years in the future. According to the congressional record, here's how it read in part. On September 1st, 1894, we will not renew our loans under any consideration. On September 1st, we will demand our money. We will foreclose and become mortgagees in possession. We can take two-thirds of the farms west of the Mississippi and thousands of them east of the Mississippi as well at our price. Then the farmers will become tenants, as in England.